Kunad Gate. Has it always been that big? It's definitely expanding, but it's still smaller than what it will be in 50 years. This place brings back a lot of memories. The Red Strings. I think there's a good chance this is going to work. Okay. I hope I know what it feels like. We'll give you SAS support. We should be able to boost your powers if we link our brains together. There's no telling what kind of dangers there will be, so it would be best to come back to the present as soon as possible. In order for you to have the greatest chance of success, you need to have an exact time and place to jump to meet Wakana. October 4th, 2009. The old OSF hospital in Lokusho City. If we go there, I know we'll see my mom. That was the day she died. I was in the hospital then, so it's definite. The others attacked Lokusho City that day, so the hospital moved to its new location in Suo. Alright. I don't know if it'll work, but let's try envisioning that place and time in our minds. Are all ten of us going? A group that big will stand out in a hospital. About that. Like my teleportation ability, I imagine it will be too stressful on the brain to move that many people at once. So... Should we narrow down the amount of people that are going? Kasane, this may be difficult to hear, but I believe you jumping alone would have the lowest risk. Luca? Regardless, those without the power of the Red Strings will be pulled back after a set time has passed. If we were to go with you, it would needlessly increase the strain on you and Kasane. Then I'm going too. I can't let Kasane go by herself. No, I agree with Luca. Though for a different reason. Yuito, if you meet your younger self, then there's no telling what might happen. It may just be a theory, but I think it's a risk we can easily avoid in this attempt. But if I make sure I don't see myself... No, I guess we can't be sure. But Kasane going by herself... I won't be alone. Everyone will be supporting me through the SAS. And since you have the same power, if you stay here, you can act as a marker for me to return to the present. That's what I think, at least. So I'm like a beacon. Okay, but don't try to do anything crazy. I won't. I promise. Give me your hand. Lend me your red strings. Of course. It's the least I can do. My power should help. All right, let's begin. Try to imagine it. Eleven years ago at the OSF hospital. And mother. waiting for you. If I had taken a wrong turn, you'll lose the honor of our family. You can't stay here. I'm sorry. You'll regret it. I'm ready. It's her.
come he is good at hide and seek, so I have to hide really well. Don't go too far. I won't. Maybe over there is good. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Where could Yuito be? This works. I'll be okay here. Mommy can't see me. I'm going to find you right away. Uh, <laughs> Mommy? Is that? Oh, you're Kasane. Oh, I. Huh? One day I received a memory from the future. I saw you in Togetsu. I guess Babe won its wager. It proved the potential of the red strings. Mother, what do you mean? I don't understand. The brains of past users of the Red Strings are connected to Babe's core. None of them were as strong as you, though. Babe used those minds to create pseudo-Red Strings to transfer data across time to Red Strings users in the past. Transfer? So the data wasn't erased. But how do you know that? I felt a tug from my brain inside Babe. Its data was transferred into my head. <sighs> Is that even possible? Babe took a risk so that its plan wouldn't be foiled. A huge amount of data was transferred into me. It felt like my head was split open and I fainted. When I woke up, I was astonished at the information I was given. Even so, I'm sure I wasn't sent all the information. That's how I learned that you were alive and well. This isn't the moment for reminiscing, though. I'm sure you're short on time. Thank you, Mother. I want you to tell me what you know about the Kunat Gate. Is Yuito's death really the only way to destroy it? Huh? Yes, it is. As long as Yuito lives, the world will be destroyed by the Kunat Gate. Uh, death? Why? Which is exactly why I made the proper preparations for that not to happen. Now, while the Red Strings are active, is my only chance to try it. Bring me to your time. Huh? Alright. I don't know the reason why, but I'll do what you say. Mommy? Where are you going? Wait. First, I have to find Yuito. Find him? <laughs> We're playing hide-and-seek. It's alright. He's hiding right over there. I finally finished the device to protect Yuito from memory damage. Is that the ear cuff that Yuito still wears? It's actually a tag the OSF hospital made to manage special patients. But this is a special order. If you swap this for the one Yuito is wearing now, he'll be alright. Then we'll go to the future. I'll be alright. If that happens, Mommy will go somewhere. With that lady. I don't want her to go. Okay, then we need to get Yuito. Oh, Yuito, wait! Get to a shelter! Hurry! You there! Where's your mother? Isn't she here? Uh... My mommy is... Don't look! Get to the shelter, understood?
it's gonna eat me. Yuito! Yuito, don't move! Sorry. Explaining will take too long. Just let me put this on you. You see, Wakana... Your mom asked me to make sure you wear it. Y yeah Okay. You have to live, no matter what. Are you all right? Is anyone hurt? Get this child to safety. He's Joe Sumeragi's son. Uh, understood. Come this way. Yuito, are you okay? Yuito, snap out of it. That's right. I remember now. It was Kasane. She's the one who saved me back then. Oh, right. Kasane! It's the same as the vision Babe showed us. Which means... Mom? Why are you here? What's going on? Yuito... Mother! We'll talk later. Her brain must be under a lot of stress. Let's find a place to rest. But won't she be pulled back to her time while resting? Don't worry. Though weak, I am a user of the Red Strings. We need to hurry back to the hideout. Wakana should be fine when she has some sleep. There's no damage done to her brain. It seems like it was just exhaustion. Good. I'm glad it's not serious. She said she could stay in this time for a while, so let's give her some rest. If it's true that Wakana has Babe's research data, then that's a hopeful sign. That reminds me. There was something we talked about inside Babe that had me curious. They were making others, but is that the same metamorphosis technique as New Himuka? It might be. It's very likely that Naomi was shot with a special bullet that contained other particles. I never could figure out how much New Himuka actually understood about them. But if they have the technique to incorporate other particles into a bullet, they should be able to do something about the extinction belt. If neither New Himuka nor Toketsu can do it, managing it must be very difficult. Perhaps it has something to do with the amount of particles. The extinction belt is made of other particles, right? So the others that fall from the sky must have been some kind of animal before. It's not birds. 
We learned it's in the stratosphere, but then what animals could they be? Well, they most likely came from outer space, outside the extinction belt, like the moon. You're almost right. There's a moon station on the outer edge of the extinction belt that contains genetic information of many animals, or so they say. So the others falling to Earth was instigated by the moon too. That means no matter how much we fight, the others will be born infinitely. That's so... awful. How could they do that to the people on Earth? It's unforgivable. Very. But I'm sure the people on the moon were desperate to escape metamorphosis. Not that I'm saying you should forgive them for that or anything. With the moon's technology, they should have been able to counter it. But there was no way they could save the entire population. It's in Dr. Pope's memories, too. People terrified of other attacks. <sighs> well, we have to wait a while to talk to Wakana. So can't we just slack off? I mean, take a break? You don't have to correct yourself. Slack off all you want. We'll save all the talk for after my mother wakes up. The circumstances are unfortunate, but it's good you got to see your mom again. Yeah, but it's all so sudden. I don't know what to say to her. It's been years. You must have a lot of things you want to talk to her about, right? What should I say to mom when she wakes up? There's so much I want to talk to her about. Oh, cool. Okay. she hasn't mentioned the Force Break program to me once since then. I wonder why she wanted to make it in the first place. She said it was to help people like me rest. She also said I was just like someone... I know! I'll call that person up! She isn't going to like this, but if it helps get the issue out... Hey, Arashi! Remember how you told me that I was like Major General Fubuki? I believe you remember that. Yeah, you two are alike. Especially how earnest and naive you are. You told me to rest and relax because being too earnest wasn't good. But I think those words and the Force Break program were meant for him. That's an interesting idea. What makes you think that? There's a lot of reasons. But I guess seeing him work until he collapsed sealed the deal. Whenever I see him, I do think he really needs someone to force him to rest. If that's the case, I think you should be telling all of this to him instead of me. Even if you're right, that sounds like a pain. I thought you'd say that. I'm sorry for doing this behind your back. But I invited Major General Fubuki here. He should arrive any minute now. What? I received a message from Yuito. He said you wanted to talk to me, Arashi? Fubuki! 
I had no idea you were so nosy, Yuito. You're the one who started this by trying to force me to rest. So consider this payback. I can't believe you. Arashi, Yuito, what's going on? Sorry, Fubuki, but I don't really have anything to talk to you about. Arashi, come on. I mean, there's a lot of things I could say. However, I know it's wrong to push my own values on you. I won't criticize or deny the way you live just because we think differently. I suppose I was conceited to think that I was always right. I'm surprised to hear you say that. Really? It's the conclusion I drew from my latest experiment. Experiment? Yeah, it was pretty enjoyable. It's all thanks to the wonderful test subject I had. <laughs> In other words, you just have to follow your gut. Arashi. Arashi. Just don't push yourself too hard. I can't support you if you collapse. Like, physically. I know. Thank you. Hmm. Sorry, maybe I did stick my nose where it didn't belong. That's all right. That was surprisingly cathartic. I've been avoiding that conversation because I thought it was too much of a pain. Seems like I had a lot I kept bottled up inside. I feel a bit better now. Really? That's good. So here's a token of my appreciation. Take it. Appreciation? <laughs> my vision! It's the light version of the break program. It starts spinning your vision so you'll... I'm getting dizzy. Yes, that was awesome! How's that for relaxing, Yuito? You're actually pissed, aren't you? Looks like you're working hard. I don't think it's a good idea to work too hard, though. <laughs> you're one to talk. You don't care enough about slacking off. That's not a bad thing. When you know your own strength and rest when you need it, you'll be a better soldier. Work on that. There's a lot of people who will be sad if you fall. I'm one of them. You have potential. However, you should not overdo it. Thanks. Yeah, I'll be careful. I need to talk to you. Now what? Did you come to insult me again? No. I don't want anyone else to hear. We're going to Musubi's. Come on. Hey, wait. I didn't agree. Oh, oh man. I can't take this guy. So, what do you want? We had an argument last time. Yeah, I remember. You don't want to pick up where we left off, do you? I've had enough of that. No, I don't. I was too emotional before, so... I'm sorry. Wait, what did you just say? I said I'm sorry. What's strange about that? I know when I've gone too far. Yeah... I, uh, said things I didn't mean to. But I didn't expect you to just apologize. I called you a pampered little boy. But when I thought of your circumstances, I realized I was wrong. You lost both your parents, then almost lost your memory. You've had plenty of your own hardships. Well, when you say it like that... Did I really have it that hard? Will you accept my apology? Yeah, I accept. Just to be clear, I'm only apologizing for what I was wrong about. It's true that you're a dimwit, so I won't apologize for that. Can't he be a little nicer? I guess that's just his personality. 
Speaking of hardships, you said you were a dud. Do you actually know what that means? Huh? It means someone born without powers. Do you really understand that? You say it like it doesn't affect you. They have it harder than even civilians. They're powerless. Well, it's kind of unclear. Wait, are you worried about me? No. I just... I can't understand how you can say that so lightly. No matter what the official stance is, people without powers are discriminated against. It doesn't matter if you're a Sumeragi or not. No matter how much they flatter you to your face, they're laughing at you in their heads. I don't think I could handle that. I know that people won't look at me the same, but it won't change who I am. There are people who see me for me, not as a psionic or as a Sumeragi. I can't tell if you're tough or just stupid. You've had so many bad experiences, but you look so self-assured. When I see you, it makes me think I can't whine about my little problems. I'll take that as a compliment. I'm surprised you want to whine sometimes. It's not that I want to whine. There are things I'm not pleased about. I've worked so hard, but my real ability still isn't appreciated in the OSF. It's irritating. Oh yeah, I think I know what it feels like to not be appreciated too. People don't see how hard I work because I'm a Sumeragi. Just like you. Huh. Way to be insulting without trying. I'll give you some advice. If you feel like you're not being appreciated, then get so strong that people have to appreciate you. That's the only way. It's what I worked so long for, and what I'll keep working for. Wow. You can be unexpectedly passionate. Unexpectedly? Why is it unexpected? I just always thought you were the cool guy. I didn't think we'd have anything in common. S stop it! We don't have anything in common. I'm not a pampered boy like you! Yeah, yeah, we're not alike at all. I mean, I'm not rude like you. What? If you had been nicer about your advice before... Oh, that's right. I haven't thanked you yet. I had trouble listening, but once I put the insults aside, I realized it was pretty good advice. Thanks. Of course it was. I'm always studying battles to get better than I am now. Yeah, I think that's amazing. Will you give me more advice sometime? Sure. But I won't be so nice next time, so don't cry about it. <laughs> I'll be ready. I'm counting on you. Stop furrowing your brow the moment you look at someone. I could say the same to you. That makes two of us then. It makes me angry that we're alike. But I guess you could say I'm rubbing off on you. You should keep climbing to get on my level. My first impression of you was the worst, but now I'm willing to say you're the second to worst. <laughs>